About two decades ago, the first wave of Somali refugees began arriving in Ottawa. They found jobs, they raised families, and now many of the children born here are starting their careers. Ahmed Hassan is hoping to give them a boost. He's the national president of the Canadian Somali Congress, and he's organizing a program in Ottawa to pair Somali youth with mentors from the Jewish community. Ahmed Hassan joins me now. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me how this idea was inspired, as I understand it, by just a, a chance meeting you had with a Carleton grad. Yes, uh, he uh, was uh, a young man who uh, did all the right things, stayed out of trouble, uh, did really well in school, uh, finished his university education, but couldn't really uh, proceed uh, onwards to uh, what he really wanted to do uh, in his own uh, career and uh, <clears throat> the biggest hurdle was a lack of uh, a mentor who could uh, guide him through the intricacies of uh, his profession. So then you had that conversation with him about the lack of mentor and how did that then inspire what we're talking about this morning? Well I think uh, part of the problem is that uh, a lot of young people in our community uh, think that uh, unless they get a quote-unquote Somali mentor uh, uh, that's the only way out and and so they don't think uh, beyond that and so I the advice that I gave the young man was that uh, you know if you can't find a mentor in your community maybe you should look uh, outside of that and the more I thought about it after that encounter I realized that there were literally hundreds uh, of young people all across Canada including Ottawa uh, from our community who uh, had you know amazing qualifications but just didn't have the mentorship that was necessary to break into and thrive in a particular profession. And why did you look to the Jewish community for this mentorship? Actually, initially we didn't. Uh, uh, as uh, head of the Canadian Somali Congress, I conferred with our board and we, we wrote an open letter uh, to all the communities in Canada uh, because we realized that uh, our challenges, since we're in Canada, our challenges should not only remain within our community. If we can find solutions outside of the Canadian Somali community, we should attempt to to uh, get those solutions from uh, outside. If we can solve our own problems, then that's a bonus. So we wrote an open letter to every other community that has been in Canada longer than us, and we said, here we are, we're the Canadian Somali community. A lot of our young people are graduating uh, from uh, schools and uh, completing their programs. We need mentors. Uh, we have a deficit of professionals. Uh, you have a surplus of professionals. Uh, could you mentor us? And the first community to respond very quickly was the Jewish community. And initially I was surprised. I didn't expect that because there hasn't been a lot of interaction between the two communities. But upon reflection, it, it makes sense because the Jewish community understands what it is, to, uh, what it feels like to go through the growing pains of trying to get into a profession and having difficulty doing so. And so they uh, were able to respond very quickly, and that's how we got going. And how will the program work? The program works this way. Uh, we have two sessions in, in every city. Uh, now it's Ottawa's turn. It's a national program, so... Uh, in the case of Ottawa, just like any other Canadian city, what we would have is have a session uh, for the Canadian Somali community and have basically an information and registration session. So, you, you know, for that event, you, the first part of the event is answering any, any and each question regarding the program from the mentees in the Canadian Somali community. And then once you satisfy all the questions, that anyone may have if people are still interested at that point you provide them with uh, registration forms and in the registration forms they would indicate their uh, their desired or chosen profession and then we would have a, a second event where we would have a call for uh, mentors in the Jewish community so you would have a uh, an event that is geared towards the Jewish community that would try to attract mentors and you would then uh, do, uh, take time to match the two the two groups in terms of uh, matching every young person's chosen profession to uh, tie them to a, a mentor in the Jewish community. And 
What has been the experience in Toronto where, where they've been doing something much like this already? It's been uh, amazing uh, in terms of not just what the Canadian Somali community has gotten out of this, but it's also really built bridges between the two communities. The Jewish community has gotten to know as a large Muslim community. Uh, as you know, uh, this, I think, is the only uh, national project with a national scope uh, between a large Muslim community and the Jewish community. Uh, there have been projects in various cities in Canada, but I, I, I don't know of any other a national uh, project like this, which brings together these two communities. Um, it's also had a spin-off effect in the sense that um, the prog- we, we, that our target within this program was just to have the mentorship. But be- as the two communities have gotten to know each other, they've gotten to uh, understand each other on a deeper level and work on other issues beyond mentorship. So, for example, you have... Uh, uh, Jewish community members uh, meet with um, the s- members of the Somali community to assist them with, for example, uh, issues regarding uh, the setting up or uh, growth of businesses. On the other side, you've had some of the Somali mentees volunteer at uh, a Jewish uh, senior center. I mean, these are things that just didn't happen prior to the mentorship project. Uh, and tell me about the program launch next weekend. What will go on? Uh, like I said, it will be an information and registration session. This particular event will gear will be geared towards the uh, the Canadian Somali community in Ottawa, and it will be basically a recruitment drive for uh, mentees. And it would be it would be uh, held at Carleton University. The aim is to answer any question that these young people have about the program, and then move towards registering them. Then the next uh, step would be to have uh, a similar meeting with the Jewish community where we try to get interest from uh, professionals to to make them mentor the folks who fill the forms on uh, May the 8th. Okay. Wish you the best with this, Ahmed. Thanks very much for talking with me this morning. You're most welcome. Thank you. That is Ahmed Hussein. He is the national president of the Canadian Somali Congress. Now, if you'd like to sign up to be mentored in this new program, attend the launch. It's at 6.30 again Saturday at the Bell Theatre in the Minto Building at Carleton University. Parents, of course, are also welcome.